All right, um, this is a Samsung Steam Smart Care dryer. Some of you guys might have this version. Um, some of you guys might have a different version. You see, this one has a glass door. Um, and let's see, I took the drum out. I took this out. And sorry I didn't uh, film me taking this apart, but it's pretty, it's, it's really simple to do. Um, basically, you got two bolts in the back. And once you take those bolts out the back, I mean, not bolts, but two screws, you just come around to the front of it. And in the front, you'll grab and you just, you know, lift up on it. And actually, you might want to just, you'll still have a drum in here. You can put your pressure right here and just pop it up. Once you pop it up, like I did, you can just lean it to the side. And once you do that, um, like I said, I didn't film this because actually I was just rushing to work on this thing and I thought about it and I'd already take it apart. But you'll have a, a screw here, a screw there, and a screw there in the front. And um. Uh, and as you see, it it um that's one of the screw holes. That's another screw hole, and the other one is in the middle. And it, it attaches onto the top of this piece. And once you do that, you just press down on the little tab, and then the top will come off. And then you got um you'll have um I'll show you guys on this. You'll have two screws, one here, one there. Once you do that, it just pull right off and then expose the whole front. You'll have your drum right here. And then um, pretty much, um, as you can see the hole in the back, you'll take the it's two screws holding the vent. Um, you'll just unscrew those in the back and then just pull the whole thing out. And once you do that, you'll come down. You'll have your, your, you'll have your drum still in, but you'll reach in from the back and um, this wheel will be up and what you'll do is you'll want to push it back and it'll release the tension off the belt and the belt will just unhook from the back of the motor once you do that I mean you pretty much you'll have a screw here 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 once you take that out the drum will just pop right out it's simple as that it's not really hard to take apart honestly but I'm having an issue with the dryer not heating up. So it's a switch on the motor. I think they call it a centrifugal switch, I believe. And I kind of found why it's not, because this sends a signal back to the board to tell the dryer to you know heat up. And I've tested all of these. I've even swapped this heating element out. I did the I think this is the resistor, I put a new one in. Still no, it's still the same thing, no heat. Dryer runs fine, but as you can see right there, you see that contact? That contact looks like it just burnt out. So you can see the one in the back. You see, let me show you. You see this one here, it's fine, that one. See how that contact is still intact with the with the um the, the shaft right here. So but you see this one, it's missing. It's gone. It's like a hole. It's like see there's a hole there. So apparently it must have broke off. So I guess when it when this thing moves, I guess this is, so I guess when this moves, this, it closes the contact. It removes from one and closes the other so it can run and tell it to run heat. So apparently that's the issue here. So I'm assuming you could jump these two, the blue and the red and you'll get heat because when you connect, I should be, hold on. Get the light back. Get the light back over 
here. Give us some light. Make sure we get this straight away. This straight away. Anyway, this thing don't want to stay. So, pretty much, as you can see, when you connect, this goes back into this right here. It snaps back in. So, this yellow wire comes up, sits in here on this contact with this blue. And the brown wire right here sits across the contact of the red. So this, this, this snaps back, this goes back. This plug goes back to the main board. So apparently when this piece connects, it closes the connection here. Let me get this up. Make some better light. It closes the connection here sends whatever until the main board to turn the heat on so when this is running it's not getting a connection so the main board doesn't know to turn the heat on and this is why you're not getting any heat so i'm assuming that um i, I, I don't know if you could buy just the switch or you got to buy the whole motor because it's attached to the motor in the back with these star screws, it's just two. There's one, you know, one here and one at the bottom. Simple to take out. And um, so I'm gonna see what I can do here to get this right. I might jump the two and cause it's just a connection. I guess it, it might work for like, let me see. Sometimes you got, like, uh, so I guess you got the air fluff, so you might not want any heat to come on. So I guess when you turn it to that, it doesn't activate the heat. But hell, who who does air fluff? Where are you fluffing out? You fluff it out, hang it outside. <laughs> but like I said. If you're having this issue and you've changed all these other things, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be this switch right here that's on the back of the motor. And you're gonna have to change it if they sell it separately or buy the whole motor. And you could pretty much get the model number off the side of the motor. As you can see, this is mine. It says 2014, I guess it was manufactured. So it's about five years old now, almost five, four and some change. So pretty much that's it. And like I said, this, this connects right here. Connects back here and this plug plugs into it. And right here is just a cover. It snaps off. You can just stick your fingers between it and just pop it off. It's got a little contact, so I just left it in place. So when I put it back on, pretty much, as you can see, it's got a little slot where the hole goes, where it goes back over this hole right here. So I just kept it right there. And like I said, it, was just, it just snaps. It snaps over it. It's just a cover. And it might have a model number on the back. Let's see. Let me even look. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Let me get some better light on for you guys. That's what we got. That's the numbers on the back of this. And might be able to get this switch somewhere. Just do a search for it. I'm gonna see if I jump these together, if this work. If not, I'm just gonna buy the switch. So, like I said, that's your issue. You're not getting any power from this switch right here to tell the main board to turn the heat on. So don't throw your dryer away thinking it's all oh, main board. It's this switch right here. I took that switch out. 
and I actually took one of the prongs out. And when I looked inside, I noticed that the contact was actually broke. So, you know, as we was looking, those switches are touched the contact this way. You had one back here and you got this one. And he had the, um, the plug onto this. So come to find out the little ball, the contact broke out of the hole. So therefore it wasn't getting contact to, to complete the connection. So I'm going to solder this back in and I'll update you guys as well on, um, well, as well as the, um, to see if this solved my issue. But nine times out of 10, this is what my issue was, is why my heating element wasn't getting hot because I wasn't getting a full contact from the switch on the motor. All right, so I'll update you guys on that. All right, so I guess I'll update you guys. So what I did, I soldered, as you can see, a contact piece on this because the piece that was on it was actually broke. And it goes, I'll hold this up here, pretty much goes back in. So I'm trying to do this with one hand, this so you guys can see at the same time. Ain't really no room to hold this up at, but it goes back in here. So when it sits in here, it gets a contact right there. And it's pretty much how that works. So I just took it out of that slot right there. Not the, you got one, two, the third slot. I take it out. So I'm gonna put it back in and this should solve my issue with that contact being cut touch the inside that and see it goes in this slot here so it goes to make the connection here all right so hopefully this connection will work and i should have heat coming out this dryer and like i said please subscribe to the channel and i will update you guys in the description on whether or not it fixed this issue or not thanks